have to, you know, people ask me all the time now, so Rich, does everyone in America own an assault rifle? Is it mandatory? Uh, no. <laughs> then why? I don't know. Because Americans have guns. Well, why can't they get rid of them? Well, that'd be like trying to stop obesity by getting rid of spoons, all right? <laughs> not gonna happen, because Americans have guns and we're not getting rid of them. Because there's always some guy in a camouflage outfit with an AR-15 going, ah, the Second Amendment says I have the right to carry. That was written 220 years ago, you prick. <laughs> I, I don't think they foresaw you were gonna own an AR-15 with a laser sight on the top and a 200 magazine clip. I think they were thinking of muskets. That's why they pulled a quill out of a duck's back and dipped it in ink and wrote it into law. I was reading a, I was reading a cover of a magazine in America because they have all these gun magazines and there's one called Guns and Ammo. This is, the, this is the headline of the article. I didn't even read the article, this is just the headline. Which is better for capturing a mallard, Kalishnikov or Browning? <laughs> How about a piece of bread? <laughs> the state of Iowa has just passed a law, it's now okay to get a hunting license in Iowa if you're blind. <laughs> if you're blind. I'm pretty sure that bill was introduced by deer and pheasants. <laughs> so the government, you know, they have every opportunity to pass a gun law, but they never do. They never do. Well, uh, it's gonna happen again. Don't worry. Well, what if it happens? It's gonna happen. Well, we need to pass a law. Nope. We're not gonna pass a law because of the National Rifle Association, that's the, uh, the gun lobby, and they just say, well, you know, it's not our problem. People go a bit nutty. You can't regulate nutty. <laughs> well, what about if some guy gets tooled up because he just watched a Batman film, and then he goes off to a cinema and shoots other people dressed as Batman characters? You don't think that has something to do with violence on television? No. People know the difference between what they see on television and real life. Oh yeah, then how come there's advertising? <laughs> you people will go out and buy insurance because a meerkat told you to do it. <laughs> and you're pretty normal people. <laughs>